Hey, I want to welcome you to another episode of Money Matters Top Tips for Success, where each and every day I bring on new business owners, entrepreneurs, and executives and have them share their top tips for success with you. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, moneymatterstoptips.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Felicia Ann Johnson on the line, and she is the founder over at Frat House Counseling. And Felicia, I will just tell you up front, when I saw the email and I saw the name of your company, I was like, oh, this is going to be a great episode. So first off, <laughs> welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Adam. Delighted to be here. So uh, I'm excited to get, let's just jump right in. Uh, tell us more about Frat House Counseling. How, how did it all come about? Well, let me tell you, uh, my husband and I were looking for a name to establish for our counseling uh, facility and um, actually came, we stumbled upon it, upon it by mistake. My, my oldest child actually joined a fraternity up at Grand Valley. And after we thought about him joining this fraternity as a frat, I said, you know what, that's kind of a cool name, you know, for a counseling facility. And we said that Frat House actually stands for Finding Resilience after trauma and we wow. thought that would be a great name um to uh market our facility as and so that kind of came about through my son my trial <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love that. I love that acronym. It makes so much sense and it totally, it totally uh, is the opposite. Well, I guess you could make the argument that that's kind of, uh, kind of like joining a frat. I know my frat, we had our traumatic time. <laughs> so I guess you could take it either way. I, we're not, we're not going to digress on this podcast, but that being said, I like your name. Um, so let's, uh, let's talk a little bit more about what you're doing and the services you're, you offer and how you're helping your clients. Oh, absolutely. So the one thing that Fred House Counseling does, um, we actually provide services, or psychotherapy is what we provide for individuals, couples, and families. And one of the things that we really, really want to um, stress with our clients is getting to the root of the problem. A lot of times clients will go to therapy and they will address the symptoms and then miss the root. And so then what happens, reoccurring trauma or reoccurring patterns continue to manifest. So our goal is to actually get to the root or the genesis of the problem, as well as change the stigma of mental health. A lot of times, you know, when you say, are you see a therapist, you must be crazy. Well, nowadays, if you don't see a therapist, you are crazy because life is mm -hmm. busy, it's hectic, and you need somebody to vent to. Um, one of the things that we do do um, with frat house counseling is that we do a lot of community work and we actually go out into the schools and I have a huge following with some of the Utica schools and I present to them um, Operation SAVE and it stands for Suicide Awareness Voices Empowered. And so I talk to the students about the signs and symptoms of depression and suicidal ideations and how to identify that within themselves as well as their peers and how to seek out help and things of that nature. And then um, Threat House Counseling also has another entity um, that's geared towards our women, so to speak. It's called Spill the Tea with Feet. Kind of get it because I'm Felicia, so you're spilling the tea with feet. And that's really a program that uh, we have instituted where women have an opportunity to talk about women issues. And there's various topics that we discuss. Um, the first um, Spill the Tea with Feet actually kicked off this March 14th in Oak Park, Michigan at the D Cafe. And the topic that we're going to be talking about is that one is actually balance and boundaries. And what I've come to the realization is that a lot of times when people's anxiety is on 10, it's because mm. there's no boundaries. And when there's no boundaries, that causes people to actually feel distressed. So we're going to be kind of talking about how to define that and what that looks like. And then our next segment will be unresolved trauma equals emotional drama. And that has to deal with a lot of post-traumatic stress and how to identify that and to work through those issues. And then our third um, segment is shattered but not broken. And that deals with relationship issues that women may have um, with their mates. And then the last one is called blue blue sky but gray clouds and that talks about depression it's not always depression sometimes the skies can be blue but you can have that gray cloud that brings that depression and it's how to work through it you may not get over it but you got to get through it so those are some of the things that we kind of do at Fred house counseling 
Man, that's amazing. And um, one point that you mentioned that I want to touch on is, and I think it's changed so much, uh, and I don't want, so I don't want to glance over that. Is in the past, you're right. I think therapy or counseling or um, you know anything under that under that veil was kind of considered. Okay, you had to have problems, or you had to be you know X Y Z, or you know somebody sent you to it. But now, um, with what <laughs> people are doing now, it's like man, if you don't have one, I agree. It's like <laughs> ah, let me see. You uh, you don't talk to anybody, so what right. do, you, who do you talk to? Tell tell me more right. about that. <laughs> Right, exactly. It's like you implode or you're going to explode. So you really need to have a safe haven to Mm -hmm. actually just debrief. And life is challenging. Life is heavy. And especially with the children in this age right now, with all the social media, oh, my God, it's like you can't do anything without it being on social media. And so one of the things that we really, really specialize in is the relationship with adolescents. And we have, I actually have a very good rapport with adolescents, and they're able to be transparent. And what I will always tell my clients, Adam, that therapy does work. But there are three times when it absolutely, positively will not work. One, it won't work if you're not transparent or keep it at 100, as the kids would say. Two, it does not work if you don't show. If you don't show, you very well cannot do the work. But three, the most important piece out of all of this the therapist and the client must gel. And if the therapist and the client don't gel, then the therapeutic process is just, it's just dead. Mm-hmm. So if you have those three elements, then therapy is a wonderful gift and a wonderful tool that you will keep using over and over because true good therapy is not like, you know, I'll ask my clients a lot of times, have you been in therapy? And most of the time I always listen to what they say. They say, oh, I have gone to therapy. And I say, mm-hmm. ah, is it different? Ooh, that is a therapy? difference. That's a new one. I didn't say that again. One more time. Okay. I think some, because some people are listening right now, podcasts are passive listening. I'm telling everybody, listen up. All right, I know you're driving <laughs> in your car. Turn it up right now or you're in your office. All right, stop typing for two seconds. Say that again. And listen, well, a lot of times I ask clients, do you go, you know, have you been to therapy? And they say, oh, I go to therapy. And, that, and that's a red flag for me. So there's a difference in going to therapy and being in therapy. See, because if you go, that means you're showing up. That means you're present, but you're not connected. But like, when yeah, you I go to school. Therapy, I went to school. I go to yes, school. Yes, like like, Do yes, you study, right. though? Do you study, though? Are you learning? Hello. Like, tell me. You get it. You get it. But when you're in something, that means you invested in it. That's the key word, that I'm in it. So I'll tell my clients, so guess what? So you've been going to therapy, but guess what? You got an invitation to be in it. And it makes all the funny. difference in the world. Oh, man, that's so exciting. Well, let me tell you right now, I already know. Speaking of therapy, I can talk to you all day. I got I have like 50 million <laughs> questions for you. I'm like, I got I'm like you. This, guy, this guy's trying to get therapy on his podcast right now. What is going on? He better come have tea with me. <laughs> Come spill the tea with me. I got you. Uh, he better come spill some tea. He doesn't get those therapy sessions on his podcast. <laughs> that, that being said, I can't. I can't deal with it. Um, so that being said, um, we are about out of time for this episode. I'll definitely going to have you back in the in the future. I'm going to come up with some therapy questions for you. Um, so if somebody's listening to this and um, they want more information or they want to connect with you on social media or your website or all that other good stuff um, or wherever, you, wherever you'd like to send them, um, where's the best way for them to reach out? Oh, okay, great. Okay, so if you want to reach me on Facebook, I'm at Frat House Counseling for Facebook. If you want to catch me on Instagram, I'm Fifi J L P C. And Fantastic. if you want to catch, and if you want to catch me with my um, via email on Felicia Fair Johnson dot com. And so okay. actually yep, so the full title is Felicia Fair Johnson MHC LPC IMH two NCC. Awesome. 
Well, Felisa, really appreciate you uh, coming on the show today and sharing more about your background and all the great way that you're helping your, your clients um, to succeed. And uh, to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast or the YouTube channel. So now we're, we got us a YouTube channel. We want to build those subscribers. So subscribe there. Money Matters Top Tips. Type it in and it'll come up and hit that subscribe button. Um, and Felicia, thanks again for coming on the show. Oh, thanks so much, Adam. Talk to you soon.